is a world just beyond now where reality rides a razor-thin seam between fact and possibility. Where the laws of the present collide with the crimes of tomorrow. Patrolling these vast outlands is a new breed of lawman. Guarding the fringes of society's frontiers, they are known simply as highwaymen. And this is their story. not good. What is it? He's been in an accident. How bad is it? Bad. He hasn't regained consciousness. Where is he? Western Army Hospital. Six hours ago, I got a call that Jetta was unconscious. Six hours ago, he was. I want to know now what you did to him. Highway, don't be upset. Let's all just be level-headed. Dr. Thedford is not our enemy. And neither is Jetta. When was Jetta admitted? About 36 hours ago. He was comatose on arrival. He suffered severe head trauma. We probably won't know exactly what happened until Jetta tells us. If he can tell you. And what's that supposed to mean? According to our records, this is not the first time that Jetta's been here at this hospital. I have no records of any other hospital stays. It's right here. Let me see that. I'm afraid that's impossible. We're under strict orders to keep this matter internal. Whose orders? All I can tell you is that five years ago, Jetto sustained a head wound overseas. He was returned to the States in a coma. Returned to the States? Ah, uh, before Jetto teamed up with us, he worked overseas. He was a soldier of fortune. After he regained consciousness, he suffered from a form of, um, I'll call it selective amnesia. He blocked from his memory all the events leading up to his injury. And you're saying this is what happened again? The head injury, the unconsciousness, are similar. But we won't know about the amnesia until we find him. The human mind is an extraordinarily complex universe unto itself. No, you've done something to him. I know, Jero, he would never snap like Highway. that. Highway, I'm sure that the army did everything that it could. Yeah, right. DC, what would it take to give somebody the power to rip those doors off the hinges like that? Drugs, maybe? Doctor, maybe we should look at that file together. I told you that's impossible. Guards! U.S. government, you take another step forward and you'll be spending next Christmas watching Bob Hope in Central America. Here it is right here. This afternoon, they gave Jetto amopropylene. Amopropylene? Never heard of that. Still in the experimental stages. And you've been experimenting with him. I was just following orders. Whose orders? Colonel Halstead's. He stopped by to see Jetto before returning to base. And that's all I know. Well, can you at least tell us exactly when the drug will wear off? That's just it. It's not the drug that's doing this to him. It's his mind. Amylpropylene unlocks the memory. Jetto is remembering what he's forgotten five years ago, reliving it. That's why he's acting like a wild man. I've got to find him. Oh, it's all right. Colonel Halstead has his men looking for him. I think your Colonel Halstead has done enough. 
chance he's got is to call off a manhunt. Let me find him. It's too dangerous, Highway. You saw what Amo Propylene did to him. He's completely out of control. You want the army to get to him first? No! He may hurt himself or hurt somebody else. Hey, hold on a second. I want some company. See everybody having such a good time. Uh, Jim Methy's a little short of cash, and he wants to know if he can add this to his tab. I told him no before. Well, he's got some guests with him, and it could be a little embarrassing. Just have Frankie throw him out. Hey, what is this? supposed to be Rambo. Enemy engaged. Hey! Hey! Set hey. on. Surprised to see him. What, what are you doing here? Who saw you on, Bartlett? Come on, man. You can't be serious about all this. I'm gonna have to kill you. What are you talking about? Why would you, why would you want to kill me? You told me you were there. Why would you want to kill me? I don't know, but I'm here to find out. Hey, Mopropylene? I thought it might do him some good. Worked wonders in some test cases we had. A Jetto is not a test case. I know that. All right, I know. You see, uh... Jetta was employed by the Army several years ago, and, uh... Oh, you knew him when he suffered his amnesia? No. Well, I mean, indirectly. I was in charge of a weapons drop for some freedom fighters. Jetta was just one of the many volunteers. Brave volunteers, I might add. But what happened to him? We never knew. We thought he was dead. And he turned up in a military hospital about... I think it was five years ago. I have no memory of how he got there. I've known him since that time. He's been perfectly normal. Highwayman, believe me. He was acting in a very destructive way. The doctors were seriously concerned for his life. Do you uh, know this man who he kidnapped? Well, casually. I mean, you know, I was to his nightclub once or twice. Well, do you know the connection he might have had with Jetto? None that I know of. I thought they might have met in the service. Except that this Bartlett never served. No, the old adage, wrong man in the wrong place at the wrong time, simple as that. Don't you think it's kind of strange he came all this way to, to grab some man at random? We are talking about an escaped, stressed out vet, aren't we? Look, we in the military have this thing about taking care of our own, uh... How about if I put some men on this to work with you, if that's all right? Well, I appreciate that, Colonel. If I run into a bind, I'll give you a call. can't leave me locked up in this. My God, please. I let him down. You let who down? Jetto, did somebody put you up to this? Is that what it's about? Is it? Everybody's counting on me. It's you and me, Jenna. I'll give you anything you want. There's no reason why we can't make a deal, right? For God's sakes, why won't you answer me? I want answers too. Well, 
Anything you want to know, Joe, just, just ask me. I mean, I'll cooperate with you all the way. Just name it. Then tell me why I shouldn't kill you. I expect you to take care of that kind of stuff. Yes, you do. I said calm down. It's a little ridiculous to ask us to be calm under the circumstances, don't you think? He's kidnapped Bartlett. He could be dead for all we know. He's right. Now look, I like life. I like being chief of police. This is all behind us now. And that's the way it's got to stay. We've got to do something. We've got to do something fast. Gentlemen, please. I mean, having nervous breakdowns won't solve anything, right? Well, what do you expect? He's not wasting any time getting his revenge. How the hell did this happen anyway? I thought he was dead. Now we've got a federal agent snooping around. Oh, that's wonderful. God only knows how much Jetta told him. If they knew anything at all, they'd have been after us by now. Oh, Ron, that's military thinking. But I think like a cop, and believe me, they don't send elite agents after runaway mental cases. The guy knows something. My guess is that they knew Jetta was into something, but only escaped before they found out what it was. In the meantime, Jetta's still out there somewhere. And you want us to be calm. And that is all, gentlemen. Now, this is the only time I'm going to say this, so listen up. Now, we've all been through too much for anything or anyone to start pulling us apart now, right? Do you understand? I'm sorry for Bartlett. We all are. But the man left his flank unsecured and he's paid for it. That, gentlemen, is war. And I recommend that we take better precautions. Starting a little judicious recon. Watching WPXI TV. And we think the suspect traversed the side of the building, entering a ventilation system through a roof access. Then he apparently downscaled through the air ducting, entering this floor through an unsecured grate. Where well, he kidnapped the chief of police and took him out the same way. Is that what you said? That's what we think, yes. You think? Well, we're not sure, Mr. Mayor. You're not sure. Go easy. On. Your Honor. Easy. Investigation will be coordinated by my office until further notice. Well, sir, he was the chief of police. And I'm the United States government. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Jones. Don't lose it on me now. Huh? Hello, Colonel. Ron. Well, hi, Wendy. I guess you know your buddy Jetto has struck again. I don't believe we've met. Mayor John Fletcher, this is Highwayman, the federal marshal who's come to capture Jetto. I can't say that I'm impressed so far. Jim Townsend, the mayor, are very close. I see. Colonel, I've decided to take you up on your offer. I wouldn't need your help. Well, what changed your mind? Well, obviously, Jetto's connection with Townsend and Bartlett was no accident. You know, I've been thinking the same thing. A Townsend service record might be a good place to start. Consider it done. Sir? He's all right. Forest ranger out past Route 37 saw two men entering a wilderness area. One of the men was wearing military fatigues. It's the break we've been looking for. Colonel, Jetto is my responsibility. And the safety of this community is mine. Been a real pleasure, Mayor. Colonel Halstead is giving tours in Gettysburg. I learned a long time ago, don't play a card until you have to. Well, gentlemen, hi, women. Glad to see you decided to observe after all. I'm sorry I had to pull rank on you like that, no hard feelings. Oh, not at all, Colonel. This won't take long. What do you mean? Well, these green kids of yours don't stand a chance out here against a man like Jetto. Is that right? My men know what they're doing. If Jetto's in the area, they'll locate him. Well, he's in the area, all right. 
You better locate the clothes first. That's an interesting strategy you men have here, Colonel. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute! What the hell happened? Hey, Highway, how much further do you think we gotta go? DC, DC, keep your boys down unless you want to be hiking out of here with your shorts on, too. Good point. Not particularly subtle, are they? Not particularly. idiots trying to do anyway they keep an eye on us I hate the wide open spaces you feel like heading back you haven't found jetto yet you know i've been thinking i need you to do something for me i want a computer rundown on bartlett townsen fletcher and colonel halstead you're just trying to get rid of me yeah but i'm still gonna need that rundown well, that's a big order. Exactly what am I running down? Anything that connects them, especially military service. You're joking. We're talking about IRS statements, corporate filings, school records. Actually, it'll give me a chance to try my new cross-indexing program on the computer. There's a reason why Jetto came out here. And my guess is Halstead and Fletcher don't want me to find out what that is. You think it's safe leaving you out here alone? I think one man alone has a better chance of drawing Jetto out than a whole army does. Yeah, I think you're right. So do I. if you wanted to. We were being used, Highway. We've got to stop them. You're doing what? I don't know. They're inside me head, laughing, driving me crazy. I can't get away. Get away from who, Jettle? you got to tell me who. I'll do everything I can. You've got my word. Don't give me that. You're leading the hunt. I should have known you were no better than the rest. You think I'm out of my mind. No, Jettle. Listen to me. Some doctors gave you drugs that are making you relive things from your past. That's what's doing this to you. You're not insane. All I tried to do was stop them from killing people for nothing. Yeah, has somebody been killed? One by one, they were dropping around me. No one lifted a finger to help. <laughs> they deserve to die. Tell me who it was, Jero. Tell me who it was that could have helped you, and I will help you get them. But don't even consider killing them outside the law. I'm a lot of things, but I'm no killer. Otherwise, you'd be dead, wouldn't you? Yeah. Jero, what about Townsend and Bartlett? Where are they? They're safe. For the moment. Why'd you go after them? I don't know, but I'm trying to find out. He'll be back. <laughs> oh, Bartlett, are you some kind of an optimist or just a fool? I wish I could be sure we were going to live long enough to figure out which. Come on, Jim. Take it easy. No water. No food. If something happens to Jetto, nobody knows where we are. Knock it off, Jim! There's only one way. We gotta tell the truth. When he gets back here, I'm telling him everything, everything. Don't be an idiot. I've already been an idiot. An idiot to go along with this. This was Halstead's operation. We had nothing to do with it. Do you understand that? Nothing. There's no reason that we should be put in a cage and maybe killed for something he did. Because the only reason we're still alive is because Jetto can't remember what happened to him. 
Now, the minute you tell him, pal, we're dead. Tell me what? I think it's time we had a little talk, boys. About the mission. And about the bullet one of you put through me. Never could figure out how it didn't kill me. But here I am. No manners at all, chattering on and on. Why don't you have a turn, Captain Townsend? Jedi? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't? You're the one who pulled the trigger. No, Jedi. No, not me. You think I don't remember? But I do. I would. I want to shoot you. If I knew the answer to that, you wouldn't be breathing. knew it. <laughs> Fletcher! <laughs> Fletcher was the one! He was the one that tried to kill me! Saturday at 7, followed by Weekend Wheel of Fortune at 7.30. Can't believe this. It's a damn nightmare come true. You can stand a chance in hell against that madman. We don't know if Jeddo did it, Colonel. But we don't? He was seen leaving the premises by a custodian. The murder weapon is the same kind of knife that Jeddo carries. How much evidence do you need? More than you, apparently. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean, last time I looked, a man is innocent until proven guilty. You're as crazy as he is. Colonel, I found Jeddo tonight. We talked. And you didn't bring him in? Well, I didn't have much of an upper hand at the moment. Look, he is scared and he's confused, and I don't believe he's capable of killing anyone. I don't give a damn what you believe, mister. Any more than I'm impressed with that flashy James Bond job description of yours. You're out of line. Oh, am I? Yes. You're the one who failed to discharge your duty and apprehend the suspect, and now they're taking the mayor of this city out of here in a body bag. There'd be bodies all over this city if Jeddo had a mind to kill. You better find him before my men do. Because from this moment on, there's a shoot-to-kill ticket with his name on it. Sorry, I don't have any better news for you, Highway. The Army knows that Fletcher and Townsend served, you know. The payroll confirms that. But they can't find the records. What about Halstead? Halstead should be put on the recruitment posters. The man has an unblemished career. I'll keep digging. There's a blemish out there somewhere. Right now, Jeddo's one of the few people alive who knows what it is. Yeah, we used to know. It doesn't matter. There's an APB on him that's the same as if Halstead drew a target on his back. What's up? Why are we stopping? Well, this is the end of the line. What do you mean? You get out, I'm going on. Come again? I've got to get to Jeddo before Halstead napalms the whole forest. Uh, what about me? It's a jillion miles back to town. Something you forgot about.
so you bought your pals this time. Oh, you know me, Jetto. I work alone. Real cute how they just happened to come looking for me in the same place you did. I could have blown them out of the sky. Go ahead, then. What's one more killing when you're on a roll? What the hell do you mean? Mayor Fletcher's been murdered. He was already dead when I got there. I know, Jetto. What do you mean you know? They said it was your knife. Obviously, you still have yours. Look, somebody saw you at City Hall. You wouldn't leave a witness if you came to murder. Maybe you're giving me more credit than I deserve. Maybe you and I need to sit down and talk without the knife. Do you remember being hired by Halstead? No. All I know is I fell asleep. I woke up in the padded cell. Jenna, let me take you back to the hospital. No way. Yeah, I thought we said no more knife. No, I'm not going back there. It's like a nightmare. As bad as the ones I'm having now. At least turn these hostages over to Winthrop. She'll keep them on ice and get this kidnapping charge put away. I'll sleep on it. Now you're the boss. but I sure wouldn't mind a hand. Or a foot. You want to explain to me, Lieutenant, how this man was able to help himself to enough missiles, grenades, and ammunition for a small invasion? We're still trying to assess that, sir. Well, save your energy! Because I'll tell you exactly how it happened. He's better than you are, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Thanks to your incompetence, we have a dangerous individual now has the most sophisticated weapons in our arsenal. Now, when you find him, I want you to kill him. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Dismissed! Good morning, America! This is your wake-up call! Someone call for help! Who are you going to call? We are the Army. Now, get up that hill and get him! Just one. Who let this man up here? The Uncle Sam did. He sends his warmest regards. Yes, sis, I was never informed of any federal involvement. Colonel Halstead should have informed you. Well, Colonel Halstead isn't in charge here. I am. Well, I'm informing you now that I'm going up that hill alone. The hell you are. All right, men, let's move out. Hey. Sir? 
Now that I got your attention, I recommend that you think real hard before you decide to overrule this particular badge miner. I guarantee you that that West Point diploma of yours won't get you anything but shining shoes at the Pentagon. Are we in sync on this, Lieutenant? Exactly what was it you had in mind? That's better. A highwayman. You're watching WPXI-TV. weapons back on them like they did to us. When did they do that? I tried to stop the killing. I tried my best, but Fletcher and Bartlett and the rest, they wouldn't let me. You tried, Jeddo. You tried. That's all anybody can ask a man to do. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. It's not just me. It's everybody at headquarters. It is? Yeah. Hold it, mister. Don't do it! I'm taking Jeddo into custody of the United States Army. Colonel Halstead's ordered me to consider any attempt by you to detain me as a direct, hostile action. Please, detain me. recommended for promotion by Colonel Halstead. Leave me alone. You know, it is just a recommendation, however. I've been doing some thinking on how to make it happen for certain. Like if I was the one who got the full confession out of you. You're right. Maybe I would feel better if I got it off my chest. If you're stupid enough to come in here, you're stupid enough to bring the keys. Now hand them over. What do you mean you can't get him out? Halstead's the one who ought to be in jail, not Jetto. Can you prove that? Not yet, I can't. Halstead's covered his tracks. We've got a few financial records to go on, but we'll get him. Highway, Halstead has friends in high places. He wants to bring you up on charges. Oh, that'll be the day. Yeah, wait, man. Where's Jetto? We're not sure. He skipped about an hour ago. My men are out looking for him now. Sit down. What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? We're going to play a little game. It's called True Confessions. You see, we're the judge and jury. You're the guilty party. <laughs> <laughs> this is absurd. What's your connection with Bartlett, Townsend, and Fletcher? I have no idea what you're talking about. That club Bartlett runs is pretty flashy for a guy who's on a military payroll. It must have cost at least a million to build it and decorate it. Maybe he had investors. What about John Fletcher's election campaign for mayor? Hey, Colonel, where'd he get that kind of money? How should I know? Well, you live in a $500,000 house that you cannot afford either. And you, my friend, are bluffing. We're investigating all financial records of everyone involved. It's only a matter of time. Jetto's a federal marshal now. So if whatever happens to him is because of you, then I'm going to hold you personally responsible. Now, you either talk to the judge or you start talking to this. Your choice. All right. We're siphoning weapons from resupply missions destined for freedom fighters. 
And we were reselling them. How much money did you make? It wasn't only money, it was... Most of the time, it was drugs. So by the time the drugs got to the States, I guess it turned a hundredfold. I've got lots of money. Enough for both of you. Much as you want. The man's a slime bucket. Was Jetto in on this with you? Jetto found out who we were dealing with and what we were trading for, and he came after us. After destroying our entire arsenal, he blew up the heroin. And what happened to Jetto? He was hit. We thought he was dead. We left him there. Somehow he, he made it back. Yeah, that would explain everything. And the paranoia, the nightmares, need for revenge. As for you, Colonel, along with the other charges, you're going to stand trial for the murder of Mayor Fletcher. What? Sit down. See, you made it look like Jetto did it to justify the shoot-to-kill order. DC, call Winthrop, fill her in. I'm going after Jetto. You better find yourself a Jeep. He's not going to be on the main roads. What are you gonna do with us? You're gonna find out what it's like to crawl for miles, wounded, living on insects, hunted by the enemy. Jet or no. Please, don't do it. Then tell me who led that mission. You release us if I tell you. What would you do? Ask him. <laughs>
Batman. We'll be right back. Highway, how is he? It doesn't look too good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he'll surprise us all. You know, he's a stubborn old mule. Highway, what's wrong? It's Colonel Halstead. He's out. What happened? He got one of his buddies in the Pentagon to intercede on his behalf. They released him pending a full investigation of your charges. Oh. Shadow. Shadow. just release an unconscious patient to somebody like him. Because he's the base commander, there's no way the doctors could have known the rest. Yeah, but still. It must be them. We're too late. Maybe not. We're from senior. Come on, DC. to some high-tech medical facility upstate. I like hell they use it. Alive. He's the only witness that can nail the colonel. You can't just murder him in cold blood. They checked out of the hospital together. You know, they all know that General's been painted as a wild man capable of doing anything, especially flipping out. What are you doing with that shoot? Hey, you don't think that's exactly what I'm thinking. What are you up to now, Colonel? tried for a murder and they haven't even found the body maybe they hid it in that other dimension
Join Sean Lennon and me for a special edition of Friday Night Videos with an hour salute to Michael Jackson. And tomorrow night, after the facts of life, Mary surprised and Lester shocked when they come face to face with all of his cousins on 227. And how far will Rose go to catch a Superman on the Golden Girls? After that, Jack K. guest stars on Amen as a man killer with an eye for the deacon. Then in just 10 days, you'll find out that something is out there.